Hello everyone, it's Monsignor Sayak with your weekly pastor's message. This is how you stay up to date on everything that's going on in the parish. There's always plenty to be a part of, of the great community that we have here at Christ the King. Kicking it off, thank you for the, for the wonderful response and feedback I got from the homily last weekend about tithing, how important it is for us to, to fund our mission. And uh, I got a lot of good feedback from people, but, but the, 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 the bottom line is we need to put track in front of the train, right? That, that famous saying, no margin, no mission. And, uh, and I just know your hearts are open to this. And, and like I had mentioned, if, like, if you love what we're doing here at Christ the King, let's tithe, right? Give the Lord off the top and he will never be outdone in generosity and we'll be able to, to, to fund the, the, thing, the, the things we need for, for our mission. So you'll find some things in the, in the bulletin to help with that. The, the thing that, that I'd really like to encourage is that electronic giving, that giving that, that uh, is safe and it's regular, uh, and we're happy to help set you up with that. Uh, it even saves us uh, money too on the other side of, of giving out the envelopes. So, uh, so please, if you, ha you haven't signed up for electronic giving, please do so. And, uh, and if you do, go revisit that and maybe update your, your contribution. But thank you for, for all of your generosity. Every bit helps. And it's all for the Lord. Speaking of which, we have some wonderful things coming up. Our, first of all, our virtue of the week with our school is orderliness. And if we look around the world, it's, one, it's actually one of the proofs for the existence of God is we look around the world and we see order. We see intelligence. We, see, we discover laws of physics. And there's, there's, the, there's the order of the universe, but there's also the order of the, of the human soul, uh, of how we're ordered by, by virtue and by being oriented to the highest good, who is God himself. Uh, I, was, I was listening to a speaker recently and, and he said part of the reason we get into trouble is that we take another good and make that our, our highest good, not God himself. And what happens is then that good begins to distort our reality and our perception of things. And so, uh, but we need that order. And, and uh, we have, you know, external order, but also internal order. And, and sometimes our internal order can help order our exterior. And sometimes that exterior helps us to have a more ordered interior. And, and so this is basic things can be like making the bed in the morning. I think that's one of the, the best things to predict a productive day is that, 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 you know, that gets done. Of ordering, of, you know, kids, of keeping your room cleaned up, right? Putting things back where they are, teaching our, our little ones about where things go, you know, and make them competent in that. Uh, there may be that little mess that's just been sitting there. Right? And, and it just weighs us down. It's like, let's go bring order to that. Also order in our souls of, of uh, you know, what sin always brings disorder. You know, what helps order the soul is a good confession, right? To put, put it us in right relationship with things, practicing a virtue, uh, doing good to others, right? All that helps that, that ordering. So let's uh, focus with our school kids this week on orderliness. Couple of things that are coming up. You know, we have our Veterans Day uh, this Friday, so the parish office will be closed, and the school kids will have the day off. Uh, there's a wonderful display in the lobby of the school of relatives of students and faculty who are in the military or have served in the military, uh, and we're honoring them this week with photos and and prayer uh, this week. So we we want to honor all those who have uh, worked and fought and sacrificed for our freedoms. And we will remember them, especially in prayer this Friday. We have our Funding Future Saints. This is coming up on November 16th, Thursday. So it's coming up real soon. And you can still come and, and join us. There's still some spots available. And there may have been a little bit of confusion about this, but th there's no cost to come to the luncheon. We'll give an, have an ask for, for donations, but, there, but there's no upfront cost to come to the luncheon. Just call the, the, the parish office, RSVP, come and join us. Even if you don't know much about the school, this is a great way to find out more about our, our awesome school that we have. So, um, so again, there's, there's no cost for the luncheon. Just come and enjoy and to, and to be with our school. I want to give you an update on our server program. You know, October 1st, we've, we started the Daughters of St. Therese, 
and the girls they just look so good. You can see you can see them at mass. It's great a great presence in in the in the in the congregation and all the good and attentive work that they do in the sacred liturgy. Well, we've already been contacted by a parish in in, in Indiana, and they want to copy our program, and so. Um, We've, we rejoice with that and be able to share that with, with another parish who want to do the same thing for the vocational discernment of the girls of their parish as well. So myself and, um, and uh, Teresa Becker will be meeting with, with the parish staff uh, via Zoom uh, with that parish in Indiana. And so we're just we're really happy to, to share the idea and to help, help, uh, help our, our, our young girls um, discern and, and, and promote vocations, especially to the consecrated life. We are in the final weeks leading up to our Healing the Whole Person retreat at Our Lady of Levang. This is going to be di uh, diocesan-wide and, and even bigger. I've, I've heard that Christ the King Parish has the second largest number of people going. There's still time to be, make, us, make us first. We have to, I think we have to beat St. Patrick's parish to, to, to get the first place. Uh, but you can still register and go. And again, just to, to encourage that, uh, there's, there's such grace that comes from that retreat. 1,200 people now that are signed up for the, for the retreat and the day of equipping. Uh, so please, uh, if, you haven't, if you're st still thinking about it, being on the fence, just go. And good, some, something good will, will, will be there for you. So the week after the Healing the Whole Person retreat, that's that first full week of December, Archbishop Sample will be here in the Vicariate. He's coming for his official visit to the uh, South Portland suburb Vicariate. That's Christ the King of Milwaukee, St. John the Baptist Milwaukee, St. John the Apostle, Oregon City, St. Philip Benizi in Redlands, and Our Lady of Levang. And so uh, he'll, be, he'll be spending most of the week at the various parishes in, in, in the Vicariate. And so he'll be with us at Christ the King on a Tuesday evening. He's going to come say the evening Mass at 6 o'clock. And then we're, having a, we're hosting a Vicariate Project Andrew dinner. And that'll be on Tuesday, December 5th. Uh, that, that Project Andrew dinner is for uh, our young men and high school age boys who, to, to promote vocations to the priesthood. And so we'll have the we'll be inviting the boys, and I'll be inviting the boys from from our parish too to take part in that, to to have dinner with the archbishop and to hear from him. Then that Thursday he's going to come back to Christ the King. He's going to say the school mass. He's going to spend some time in the classrooms and with the parish and school staff. Then he's got to run to Mount Angel for some meetings, but then he'll come back to help uh, be, to be with us during our healing holy hour on. December 7th, Thursday, December 7th, from 6 to 7 p.m. And then there'll be a reception afterwards where he will be able to mingle with everybody, have a little uh, Q&A with, with, with Archbishop Sample. Um, so mark your calendars. Come to the Healing Holy Hour with the Archbishop and to, um, uh, to, to, to have that time with him. I got some great news for the parish that the St. Vincent de Paul Christmas boxes are back. We haven't seen the Christmas boxes since COVID, since the pandemic, and it was always such a, a, a big part of our Advent preparation for Christmas is helping those in need. And so this year, St. Vincent de Paul is bringing it back. So you're gonna see information in the bulletin. We already, we printed a whole sheet of the items that are we're gonna be asking for. So you can be, you can get that sheet and when you're out shopping, when stuff, something comes up on sale, you can get it and start collecting it. And then we'll be getting those boxes ready to go uh, in December. So thank you for, for your help. And, and uh, please check out the information to, and be involved with this. This is something that involved, I think, a few hundred uh, Christ the King parishioners in terms of not only preparing the boxes, but also delivering and all of that. And, and to really warm the hearts of a lot of needy families in the area. And then finally, mark your calendar for our Advent retreat. That will be Saturday, December 16th from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the evening. That will include the 5.30 Mass, include Mass as a part of the retreat. Uh, this will be a great time to have that spiritual focus that we all need during Advent to prepare us for Christmas. It's going to be a vicariate-wide retreat, uh, but, it'll be, but it'll be here at, at Christ the King.
So mark your calendars. That's Saturday, December 16th. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. God bless. We'll see you next time.